So, the compact cassette is coming back, is it? It was about time, actually. I've been a real drill user all my life, and I recently switched to cassettes because tapes became harder to get. And I found out that actually a good cassette deck outperforms a 4-track reel-to-reel. Did not expect that. Was a bit of a surprise, but I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, obviously, people started complaining about how bad and unreliable tapes were back in the day. Uh, whereas they weren't. Uh, if you kept your machine clean, you actually would never have tape jams and it would always sound just fine, even with affordable tapes. Obviously there's a limit to this, you could buy these really cheap blister packaged tapes that were complete shit obviously, and pre-recorded tapes were actually copied at really high speed so they always sounded like shit unless you had a really expensive one. So that wasn't really a reference, but the medium itself could do really well. And I actually want to prove that to you. I can't prove you the reliability, you'll just have to take my word for it, I haven't had tape jams in so long. But uh, sound quality I can prove. I'm actually not going to use uh, excessively expensive equipment. You're looking at an Akamishi CR1E here, I bought it for I think $30. You can usually find them around 80 I think in the USA, uh, cheaper in uh, most parts of Europe. And I'm using the cheapest non-complete shit tape, the TDK D60. You could still get them until really recently uh, for I think $1.5. And obviously it's not a, a high performance tape, so you get a bit of tape hiss, but you'll notice that the sound quality itself, it's kind of hard to separate the tape from the actual source. Um, I'm using a vinyl recording, played with a Technics SL110 with a Yelko arm, and the song is uh, Rigamaru by the band called Sleepy Sun, and the phono preamp is a Light Audio CT3. Uh, this is all digitized using a Tascam US144 sound card. I did not use any noise reduction because I think uh, you lose quite a bit of uh, musicality and it also gives you, and that's the main concern actually, uh, interchangeability issues with other decks. So I uh, prefer not to use noise reduction. So this is about as cheap as you can get without going into the complete plastic crap. Here's the tape. It is actually new. Uh, these are reliable second hand I must say, but I wanted to use a new one to give you as good as an example as possible. I'm now going to switch from camera audio to the line-in, obviously. I'm not cheating, I'm not just playing a file, you're actually going to listen to the tape. Here goes. Sure. 